all of Begil's strike craft were in one big blob all the way through that match. So now let's see. Begil did pass me a 1v1 as well. So I will move on to that. And again, my apologies to chat for not keeping an eye on what was going on in there. Uh, hello and welcome to anyone with us. Let us move on to the second game. Begil as Coalition versus Sunderdeco as Galcian. Hmm. Should be interesting. So, we have reveal all. Let's shift over to the production tab. And let's see what the opens are like. So, we've got Begil so focused entirely on CUs and obviously keeping his base runner. And meanwhile, we have Sundered Echo, who is going to recycle his base runner by the looks of things. Yep. And again, focusing on CUs. Now, looks like he's going to use that to bolster his opening eco. He's got a scanner out here to see what's going on. Again, that puts him, recycling that base runner puts him in a position to either rush uh, assault ships to get a second production cruiser early. Uh, again, it gives him quite a few options, uh, and especially gives him quite strong options. Hmm, why can I not see? That's a shame. Hmm, interesting. Beggar was quite slow getting on to his expansion. Right, this is something that everyone needs to be very careful of. So, what's happened here is Sunder is a little bit too far over. And although it looks like he should be close enough, because of this hill here, he's actually a little bit further away than he thinks. And that's costing him time. Um, and again, it's only slowing him down by maybe one, two seconds each drop. But that's quite substantial and it's going to add up over the course of the game. So keep that in mind. Now, Begil, as we saw last game, so again, sacrifices that early expansion to get his LEVs out sooner. And it looks like he plans on going over and harassing the expansion of Sundered. Sundered has a sand skimmer out. Looks like he's coming out to scout, see what's going on, see what he's up against. Uh, tech is still a ways off, but he is getting a second production cruiser. Which should allow him a bit more um, leeway in early fights. Having that second production cruiser... Mm, going out with that production cruiser is pretty risky, though. What is he going for? He's going for skimmer spam, or...? So yeah, at this point, Sunder is aware there are LAVs already out on the field and in numbers. But he only knows about these three. He has no about... Oh, that's a very reserved turret placement by Begil. Hmm. Right, that's the plan, then. So what Begil's done is he's placed his turret here. And then he wants to use the base runner to lure Sundered over into it. And it looks like at the same time he's going to hit this expansion. So Sundered's going to come rushing in here, run into a turret and take losses. Meanwhile, he's also going to lose this expansion. Now, that doesn't look like what Sundered's going to go for. Sundered is instead spamming out skimmers and he might be going for Begil's completely exposed economy. Ooh. Oh, that's going to Meanwhile this this carrier will be able to prevent these LAVs from pushing in here. Yeah he might lose these two but if and he's all oh, Begil's getting rail guns if Sunder needs to get in here he he can do so much damage right now. There is nothing. Come on, come on on, Sundered. Just kill. Kill all of the economy that has been left wide open for you. Punish. So yeah, all that uh, Sundered needs to do now is keep his production cruisers safe under there. He's going to be able to clean up this economy. Um, again, this is really a problem for the Coalition's carrier early on. PDs aren't doing much damage. I mean, he's going to get some decent damage out of the missiles, but Without any support, without AVs as an option. Why are you why are you leaving? Son of why are you leaving? You can kill all of this. It's it's all yours for the taking. 
Oh no, he's not reset his targets. Come on. You can do so much damage right now, man. So yeah. Beggar desperately trying to get these production cruisers, but that's just putting him under these guns. And you can see how much more effective the Gaussian carry is at dealing with aggression under it. The, the PD's really just taking a toll on these LEBs and cleaning them up. There is no way a production cruiser is going down. Now, come on, Sundered, you are missing. Oh, that, this misplay. No. <laughs> this misplay. Oh, that's tragic. Sundered, you, you had him. You had him. He had nothing. Like, there was no reason to leave. Oh, that is so many levels of tragic. I can't even get over that. Um. Ah, oh, sundered. So, essentially, I think sundered lost. I don't think he lost any skimmers coming under this carrier either. And now there's a blob of LAVs that will prevent him doing it again. That is. So there was no reason to leave. All he needed to do was cycle out the damaged skimmers so that they were out of range of the guns so they'd regen. And he could have picked off any LAVs as they were produced. He could have killed that support cruiser. He could have killed all of those salvages. Like, Begil is in such a bad position right now. And I suppose this really comes back to what I was talking about in that last game. Like, the aggressive plays leave the economy so open. If you don't play into the that frontline aggression, instead you come around and you punish... The damage you can do is just astronomical. Damn, that's just crazy. But yeah, it looks like Begil getting things back under control now. And although... Oh, I suppose... Is he going to be... Oh, don't, Sundered. Don't. Ooh. No, I think he's going to give line of sight. There it is. And that costs him an assault rail. Is it going to cost him another one? Right, so, yeah, Sunder has only just realized that's there, and that turret has now paid for itself. Just just by some passing units. Just, yeah. um, ah, man, it's... Oh, no, but here we go again. These, these sand skimmers are still incredibly valuable in the backfield here, and they're going to be able to punish again. The fact that he's pushing out with these, yeah, he's going to be able to kill those assault rails, but he ain't going to have an economy afterwards. What I would like to see Sunder do is not only kill these LABs, but finish off that logistics module, which would prevent Begel from putting out more units. But again, because that carrier's got a bit more power now, it's got twice the number of missiles, it's twice as effective. Come on, Come on Sunder, kill that logistics module. It is free. Free. There we go. Excellent. Um, so yeah, again, Begel really suffering in his back line now. And it looks like he's trying to push things the other way. Looks like he's going to get that production cruiser. What are the resources looking like for Sundered? Yeah, Sundered a bit up against it as far as economy. Can't really afford to be spamming out units. Still producing a salvager from that production cruiser a lot. He really needs to cancel that, and cancel that move into something that might have helped keep this alive. No, that's going down. At, that is a major hit for Sundered now. Um, he really needs to keep the pressure up. He needs to keep hammering damage home here. Um, Begel me not, what, needs to put some uh, power in this regen system. He's got his spare and it will keep that support cruiser at full health. Um, he knows he's pressured. He knows he's in a difficult position there. Uh, meanwhile, Sundered again has the stronger economy. Um, and he's not taking the time to clean up this back line. Uh, he is, however, ahead on the artifacts, which is a big deal right now. Uh, those two turrets are affording him a lot of map control for very little investment. Um, but Begel's got quite a bank at the moment, so he is going to need to turn that into something. Get more. Having seen the assault rails, I wouldn't be too keen on rolling out AAVs. Um, and again, Rails doesn't seem like a good option, even though he's already got the tech unlocked. Now, I think the best play for Begil right now would be Air. Uh, yeah, probably going to Air. He's not too far on the CU count needed for it, and he's got a big RU bank he could use on it. Um, but I 
think he's focused on power reserve. Mm. Sunad leaving himself open. Is he going to lose a second support cruiser? If he loses that second support cruiser, that is... Puts Begil way ahead. Way, way ahead. No, don't run from your carrier, Begil. What am I saying, Begil? Sundered, you need to stay with your carrier. Ah, oh, man, this is serious misplay here. I think he's going to... Yep, just about. That was incredibly risky for Sundered. If he had lost that production cruiser, I would have basically called it game. Um... Yeah, I would like to see Begel go for air, because then he can punish these skimmers without any risk to his own forces. Um, and then he also forces some kind of AA, um, so it would force Sundered into missile ships, or he would have to full shift into assault ships and then into air, which would be too costly. Uh, a real risk to uh, Begel right now has got to be a HGC rush. He's seen rail tech, but he's not seen many units come out, so it's entirely possible that Sundered is rushing on a guard cruisers, which would completely smash Begel's current setup. Looks like Begel has been forced into AAVs. Is he going to build any, though? Um, these skimmers getting caught out badly. They're going to get mopped up by these LAVs now. Kind of a shame for Sundered. Um, not reinforcing, but there it is. There's the Honor Guard Cruiser Rush. Um, the problem now is... He has left Begel to collect artifacts for a little bit too long. Hmm. So... Again, Begel's got this LAV blob. Uh, gives him mobility control, but it did nothing... He's home base. No shift towards getting a base runner just to put down a turret. Just nothing home. Um, but again, he's going to just push in. He's going to look for a production cruiser and he's going to dive on it. That, that seems to be his whole objective. Um, unfortunately for him, he's going to run into a carrier first. But I doubt he's going to walk in there. He's going to shift over. He knows the carrier's there. He's going to look elsewhere. This on a cruiser is going to pop up here, but it's going to be wanted back here. Does he see? He sees the honor guard. Can see it. Also, the the voice prompt should have been noted. Is he going to sweep in here and go straight into that honor guard cruiser cannon? Ooh. It's not going to be as damaging as you'd expect because it's only going to hit this front set, but that's still a big hit. Again, yep. Yeah, here we go. Diving in, and he wants production cruiser, but I think. Just picking off a couple of skimmers as he runs. He doesn't want to risk taking another hit from that Honor Guard cruiser. Coming back around, you saw there's an Honor Guard cruiser back there. Probably just feels safe enough to poke around. Takes damage, doesn't get too many of the skimmers down for it. He needs to he needs to back off with these now. That that's gonna be an expensive LAV run. But he, Begil has gone into air now. That is going to be very important for him. It doesn't look like Sundered has any AA. Which is going to leave him very open to this. So it's entirely possible that uh, Begil's going to be able to get enough strike fighters online. Snipe that Honor Guard cruiser and then get back on the, on the offensive. Meanwhile, Sundered using his carrier to clean up this turret. Again, good move. Turret's not really a threat to a Gaussian carrier. Cleans that up for free. But is he going to keep going? Alert, right, he's going to intercept. He won't stop any more of these artifacts going in. Good move. Here we go. These strike fighters are now going up. There are nine of them. What are they gunning for? So the only AA that Sundered currently has is the production cruisers, but I'm not sure that's going to be enough to cope with nine strike fighters, and those strike fighters could kill the Honor Guard cruiser. And, yep. Yeah. Sundered's going to deny this artifact? Yep, yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. Going for that on a guard cruiser. Some uh, Now, it is incredibly important when you're doing AA with your production cruisers that you move them as close to the targeted air as possible. The production cruiser has great AA, very high damage output, but it has poor accuracy at longer ranges. So the closer you get, the more damage it's going to effectively do. Um, however, right now, I think he only got one or two of those strike fighters down. Oh no, he managed to clean up four of them, but still lost the uh, Honor Guard Cruiser, and he now has these LABs pushing in uncontested. Uh, these skimmers are not going to do much. There's another production cruiser, but again, Sundered really laxed on the units, but he is now pushing in with the carrier, and there is no answer back here. Is Begil is not building rails. Ooh, that, that's nice. That, that, yep. Power 5 Gaussian Carrier. And there's not a guard cruiser to back up this Gaussian Carrier. I would like to see that on a guard cruiser back up the Carrier. Beggle's getting close on power, but nowhere near close enough. And, yeah, this... This on the guard cruiser should really be helping win this fight now. All this back here doesn't matter. This, this doesn't matter anymore. All that should matter to Sundered is this fight. It is all about winning this fight. And that on the guard cruiser is still wandering off. Now, fortunately, he has regen. Uh, he needs to. F uh, no, this is bad. So, yeah, Sundered has stalled out. He's. Pumped everything into regen, which will keep him alive, actually. You'd be surprised just how effective that regen system is. Uh, but at only 55 speed, he's not going to be able to outrun that carrier. He's got air on him, he's got rails on him. This Honor Guard cruiser needed to be part of that fight so much sooner. And I suspect what's going to happen now... Yeah, Honor Guard cruiser now needs to be pulling back as well, otherwise it's going to come under those carrier missiles and the rail fire. Now this fight matters. Oh, that's... Mm. Now, the bigger issue is going to be once Begil gets power 5, this fight is a foregone conclusion because he can just kill that... <sighs> Again, the indecision over this on a guard cruiser is, is painful to see. Um... It wasn't where it needed to be to help impact the carrier push. Would have been able to punish the uh, units being produced. And he lost, he sacrificed his entire economy. He sacrificed his production cruisers. Uh, did he have the resources to have done? Yeah, and he had the resources. He could have afforded a few units in his back line um, to mitigate this. But yeah, it, the LAVs just weren't opposed. Mm. Yeah. No, the air switch was huge. Um, switching over to the the strike fighters was was literally what switched it around there for Begil. Uh, was able to kill off that on a guard cruiser, and then he was able to do enough damage to threaten this carrier and finish off that uh, on a guard cruiser very comfortably. This this is basically over for Sundered now. Behind on artifacts. Um, sooner rather than later there is going to be the cruise missile up for Begil and that is going to close it out uh, the only real path to victory at this point for Sundered uh, he could get another production cruiser out which would help him cover his carrier against the air units uh, there are only three of them left I think that's going to remain the case yep but he's not going to be able to re-establish his economy. Um, his, his influence is entirely his carrier, where his carrier is. But I also presume he's saving those CUs so that he can keep using the missiles. So, No, he's trying to rebuild his economy? Uh, there's, yeah, there's no way you're coming back in a long game, man. You need this artifact pickup, which you're about to abandon. 
um, you need to stop this artifact pickup, and you need to pressure Begil, otherwise he's only going to get stronger. Um, so yeah, this 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 base runner won't make it. This base runner will. It's going to increase the gap between the two of them, and it's going to be for economy which he can't hold, which he can't take advantage of. So. Yeah, he needed to keep pressing the advantage. He needed to pull back far enough, regen his health here. He needed to guarantee that that artifact would go in, and then he needed to push in again. Um, because time is his enemy. Now, why Begil is getting a support cruiser, I do not know. He, he really wants those CUs so that he can get power 5. But yeah, this this is a situation you always need to be aware of, of like not getting into. Right now, Sundered is running after LAVs with his carrier to protect a salvager. A salvager, he's never gonna get the the CUs back off of at this point, right? If Sundered actually hunkers down, so let's say Begel lets him rebuild six salvagers and sit on his main and start harvesting again, Begel's just gonna get cruise missile and wipe it out. Um, there is no way that Sundered is going to be able to remain ahead as far as power with his carrier. He needs to be in Begil's base, he needs to be doing damage, and he's got 70 seconds now. 70 seconds to win. Um, after that, it is over. So yeah, he's now allowed his opponent to get two more power, and he's, he's I presume he's just Praying that he can re-establish his economy. For what? Um, so yeah. Yeah, he's, he's making it so he won't be able to afford his missile barrage, which is unacceptable. It, it's literally the only tool he's got to win this fight. Mm. Yeah, it's... Complete waste of time trying to go back and re-establish his economy. Um, so what I'm hoping I see here now is he uses the missile barrage. Yep, there we go. This this is literally Sundered's last chance to win. He needs to do maximum damage here. He needs to minimise the amount of impact those rails have. It's close. Regen system's really helping... Sundered right now. Is he going to win it? It is so close. Can Begil move far enough away to fire his cruise missile in time? It. Oh boy! Wow. <laughs> that, that's a good one. So yeah. To explain that there, uh, essentially as far as the game is concerned, uh, when it checked who had died first, and it would have been down to absolute milliseconds, it registered Begil's carrier as dying first. <sighs> and that was completely down to the wire for something. That was the, literally the last second he could have won. Um, and it didn't need to be that close for him. Like I say, he could have backed off to mid, regen to come back, and had a much stronger run there. Um, but yeah, well played to both players. Really good work by Sunder putting that pressure on the eco. Um, again, perfectly highlights what I was talking about from game one. Um, the economy is just being left so open. Um, and Begel focus on being aggressive. Uh, kept him vulnerable to those backstabs, to that economy harass for such a long time. Um, and really what brought him back into it was hunkering down, getting air, and and punishing uh, the lack of AA on Sundered's part. But in the end, it came down to that last engagement. Um, and was... I think there was even an artifact capture getting like on the way there as well. Um, so yeah... Very close. Well played by both players. Uh, quite, a, quite a match. Quite a match. Oh dear. Kind of crazy. 
Uh, but yeah, you can see the economy difference for Begil there, having wiped out Sunder to, for quite some time. Just, yeah, very good game. 